Greetings from New Milton Evangelical Free Church and welcome to our thought for the day. We've reached verse 34 of John chapter 3 today. Before we read and consider that, let's turn to the Lord in prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for the Lord Jesus because he is a divine revelation to all mankind. We thank you that as he made himself known to the first apostles in the first century church through your spirit he continues to do so now and so we ask that the spirit may make a greater revelation of him today for our uh, knowing you more closely in jesus name we ask amen so let's turn to god's word i'm going to read from verse 30 just for context he must become greater i must become less the one who comes from above is above all the one who is from the earth belongs to the earth and speaks as one from the earth. The one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever has accepted it has certified that God is truthful. For the one whom God has sent speaks the words of God. For God gives the spirit without limit. I wonder, are you a debater or are you someone that makes a hasty retreat when you start to hear discussion and yeah butting? It occurs within the church, doesn't it? It happens amongst Bible scholars. It's the reason why you have the little footnote for verse 30 saying, we're not quite sure who said this next bit. It could be John or it could be John. Now, the reason why we can shrug our shoulders and leave that amongst the scholars and press on is because of the truth expressed by Paul in 2 Timothy 3.16, a real favourite verse of mine. All scripture is God-breathed. All scripture is God-breathed. I wonder if you, you, you might own or use a Bible like this that has red letters in it, red print. Now that is uh, to denote for those of you listening who think well an earth is one of those it, it's to uh, denote the words that are spoken by the lord jesus christ himself uh, and they're standing out from amongst the rest now for some this is indeed another controversy because they would say and maybe get quite animated in debate perhaps more so than really is warranted all scripture they say all scripture is God breathed and therefore we shouldn't imply that these are uh, the words that God is speaking when in fact God is speaking through all of them. Well they are right in a sense and certainly I uh, wouldn't suggest that you throw away a perfectly decent Bible because they've used some red ink in it. On the contrary I'd encourage you to read it. The point is this Jesus in himself is unique. Jesus himself is unique. He is the word become flesh, God incarnate, Emmanuel, literally God with us. Now that is why uh, picking up all that has just been said in the previous verses, the conclusion reached is the one whom God has sent speaks the words of God the Lord Jesus in other words the one whom God has sent speaks the words of God here's a real difference not that the words of scripture have two tears as it were but that Jesus is the only one who came from above the only one with first-hand knowledge sight and sound of heaven itself and the experience of eternity the one who is eternally pre-existent with God the Father. That is Jesus and no one else. Therefore, Jesus the person so completely says and does all that God says and does, and exclusively and only says and does what God says and does, that to believe in him is to believe God. Conversely, to reject Jesus, the word made flesh, is to reject God, isn't it? And uh, the Bible tells us it's to call him a liar because God said of Jesus, you are my son whom I love, 
with whom I'm well pleased. So which is it? All scripture is God's word or Jesus speaks the word of God? Isn't this a contradiction or a paradox at least? Well, the answer is given very clearly in the second clause of our verse today. For God gives the spirit without limit. The Old Testament prophets would say to set apart when they were speaking from God, thus saith the Lord. They'd be shot down and killed if they were to say that lightheartedly and, uh, and dishonestly. But as, uh, the, uh, as I turn the tap and water is dispensed in greater or lesser measure, depending on the extent to which I turn the tap, so it is that God poured out his spirit or anointed the prophets in season with a quantity, a season of the blessing of the spirit with them so that they could speak for God. Whereas, not so with Jesus. With Jesus, there is never a limitation. Just one solid, consistent flow of the Holy Spirit because Jesus is the triune God in eternal oneness with the Father and with the Spirit. So to finish my thought today, I want to quote two other scriptures that kind of flank uh, this one. In a sense, like two flank walls of a house would hold up the apex of the roof. First is in John chapter 1. John the Baptist has sight of the Lord Jesus and he said, I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. Remain on him. And I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptise with water told me, the one on whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is the one who will baptise with the Holy Spirit. And then uh, in chapter 4, as Jesus reasoned with the Samaritan woman at Jacob's well and told her, I tell you, a time is coming and has now come when true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. God is spirit and worshippers must worship in the spirit and in truth. So my challenge for us today is are you one of those true worshippers? Are you someone who sees Jesus as the truth personified, God in human flesh, who only ever has a constant flow of the Spirit and speaks truth? He has the Spirit without limits. Will you believe what he says and accept him for who he is? and ask him to be your saviour today. If you already know him, then just reflect on this truth and enjoy the day as you know Jesus as your saviour. Let's finish by praying. Now, Father in heaven, we thank you for uh, the word made flesh in the Lord Jesus. And we thank you also for the written word, all scripture that is God breathed. But Lord, as we uh, read your word, whether red letter uh, words of Christ or those of apostles or other scripture writers, Lord, we ask that you would bless us with more of your spirit for Jesus' sake. Amen. Thank you once again for listening.